Sachs into the back. Car launched meters and meters into the air, and it looks like another driver who tangled with Ben Barnacote. And we can't quite make out who that driver is. Oh, we have only seven and a half minutes plus one lap left. Oh, oh my. Huge accident, a huge off. Ryan Tweeter had spun, PK is involved. There was another car that's airborne as well, and the race is being stopped straight away. Red flag shown, and Ryan Tweeter was the catalyst for all of that because he had spun, and then out of nowhere, but for a position, is Nico Curry. I'll right. explain why in a moment. Now, this is Tweeter, it was the Verth corner, I was right. He goes through the gravel, he's back on the track, and Peter Lee is just unsighted, straight into the back, corkscrews in the air, PK very nearly goes over as well as he had a car knocked into his path. That is a monster. That's a huge, huge coming together, isn't it? And as you say, it was dust, wasn't it? pit stops and here is a fight oh dearie me a huge accident and that is uh, Salvador Duran over and over he goes and into the catch fencing and over the catch fencing as well he raises his hand saying I'm okay but that was a huge huge accident for Salvador Duran jumps out of the car adrenaline still pumping through his veins and wow what a shock at the end of this race got a slight limp there where he's probably knocked his knee an absolutely huge accident. Let's see that again. It's Ferraris Falzi who breaks a little bit early and the nose of the car just hits that rear wheel and sends him over, sliding through the gravel on his head. Then it catches and over he goes. Barrel rolling over the tyre barrier, over the catch fencing and into the slip road. Marshall's very lucky. Anyone on the slip road, very lucky as well. <laughs> This was the lead battle, turning its way through Yentwood. He gets a little bit scrappy in midfield. Lando Norris is one of those locking up. Right, on the outside line is Bortoletto. He turns in and just launches himself over the front of another car. Cartwheels his way into the gravel, ends up upside down from another angle. There he is, he's airborne as he comes into shot, but having ridden over the wheels of another car, that just launches him into a very spectacular accident indeed. Uh, just over two hours into the race at this point uh, in a podium position and the defending champion drives it off off the number one car oh this and is the, the leader the, it's the golf car off as well the number one car in the gravel yeah uh, that's mike Wren Wren right in that car brendan hartley and the lead car in the race the defending world championship there's damage to the front of the prototype porsche Brendan Hartley's, uh, let's have a look at this. He's, oh, Brendan, oh. what were you thinking? It's and been it's over. Gone over. Oh, so close to going over. Oh, dear me. Well, I'm sorry, but that's, you cannot just expect those cars to disappear. He's trying to go around the outside of a car. The and team has to the push. To the push. team has to the push. And, oh, oh, dear, that. Oh. He's, he's Awful. pulled back into the side of that Porsche, hasn't he? Full course yellow is going to be coming out in about five seconds time. <laughs> Oh. 
All course yellow still at Brands Hatch because of this huge accident. Phil Driver in that Aston Martin riding up the back of a slower GT4 car that itself was trying to pass another slower GT4 car. Driver, a huge accident. Out of the car, that looks a huge accident. Let's take a replay. Puncture rear right and oh, that's a huge impact with the barriers.